My mates in the old unit thought I'd gone daft when I volunteered for the six airborne. I mean, who in their right mind goes jumping out of perfectly good airplanes in the middle of Jerry L territory, eh? But we've been sitting and taking it for years from Jerry, and, well, I suppose I just wanted to have a crack back at them. After D-Day, we thought we had them on the run, right up until they counter-attacked in the Ardennes. The Yanks were bogged down in Bastogne, so we went in to give Jerry a fright and soften up their defences for the Yanks' 4th Armour Division to break through. <sighs> Crawling around in the freezing dark in a town full of German troops. It's just the thing to keep a bloke warm on a cold winter's night, isn't it? Hello guys, this is Captain Alex Mason here, and we're playing some Call of Duty World at War Final Fronts. This is the 8th mission. Um, as of now, there aren't really any characters, because, like, like, there are characters, but unless we get a picture of them, I'm not going to count them yet, because the wiki's kind of weird. Bastogne Belgium. So the plan, Sarge? Jerry's been using Bastogne Town Square as a supply point for their armor units here. That armor's the reason why the Yanks are having such a hard time breaking through. Typical Jerry. Always well prepared. He's probably got enough ammo and fuel stacked up to keep him in business here for months, hasn't he? Not after we're through with him, Taylor. While the Yank assault keeps Jerry busy, we're going to infiltrate him, take out the forward outpost, and then move to Town Square. Everyone got it? Right then, let's go. Davies and Rogers are already up ahead, scouting the area. He kind of looks like uh, Corporal Duncan Keith from COD 3. What's the situation, Riley? Small patrol around the farmhouses in front of the windmill, sir. Three at the front and at least one round the back. Anyone inside? Can't be sure, sir. Rogers has gone ahead looking for a route in. Okay, we're moving up to Rogers' position. When he gives a signal, we'll sneak past and jump the patrol. I have a problem with this controller because it sticks and then it wants to go only one way. What are you guys shooting at? Two more coming from the windmill, sir. Looks like we stopped them. The area's clear, Sarge. Looks like we got them all. Private Sharp, get in there and secure the windmill. I don't want any surprises. There's a patrol moving in at the far end. Sharp, take that sniper's rifle and deal with that patrol.
From everything we've seen so far, I'm guessing they considered someone infiltrating in from this direction. That means there might be more of them ahead waiting for us. Taylor, take Sharp and scout ahead for snipers and spotters. You heard the gaffer. Let's go, Sharp. Take cover! Keep your head down, Sharp. There's a sniper in that window to the northwest. These buggers usually work in pairs, but I can't see another one. Keep your eyes peeled. You take them out and I'll signal Sarge. out in the open so a sniper can pick us off. Looks like someone picked up a few tricks after Stalingrad. So we we'll see. Sharp will handle them. You find and kill that sniper. Ass. Private Davy, seal that door. We don't want anyone following us. <clears throat> Crafty Jerry so and so. He's got his route well covered. Sure, we're not gonna last long in this situation. Get rid of that sniper. Where? What the fuck? You gotta move. dancing for a while. Break out. Looks 
like we lost sight of their convoy. We're close to the front lines now. The supply point can't be far off. Come on, the war's not going to fight itself. Shift yourselves. Where do you suppose they're off to then? Ah, good question. Wait here, I'm going to find out. I want you to hold your fire until I give the order. Everything needs to go smoothly or we could end up with half the German army on our heads. Uh, I think I went too far. You wait here. I'll send Taylor down to set the explosives on one of those tanks. We'll begin the attack after they're detonated. Remember, do not fire until I say otherwise. Yes, sir. Got some Panzer IVs, I see. Am I supposed to follow? Whoops. I, I'm sorry, I haven't played this game in ages. Well, it feels like ages anyway. Taylor's signaling something. Ah, hell, there's something wrong with the detonators. Sharp, look lively. You'll have to hit them with a sniper round to set them off. Great. Okay, Taylor is clear. Take this shot, Sharp. Right, this is it. Cooper, keep an eye out for enemy I can't see. Private shot, keep us coming. Let them come. I'll just pick them off one by one. Holy crap! Sir, we secured a crate of panzer shacks! Excellent work for once, Taylor. Use them to take out the other oh. tanks. Sharp, you too. Don't worry about the ones under repair. Fire only at active jury pans. Yes, sir. Come on, Sharp. Panzer Shrek. Oh, tell you. I always like that phrase. Stay alert, lads. This isn't over yet. Oh, shit. I don't see any. Come 
on, bud. What? And he's dancing now. We got company in the building from the east wall. More approaching from the outside as well. Southeast. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that was way too close. What? Are you serious? Oh my god. This is what I always hate. I screwed up. Bloody big it is too! Over in the north corner! I'm trying! I knew I should have kept on to that stupid Panzer Shrek, but I didn't! Uh... God damn it. How about you give me some back? Where the hell did that Panzer Shrek come from? <laughs> Sir, anti armor infantry spotted down the alley to the southeast. Private Sharp, get to the top floor and deal with that jury with the Panzer Shrek. Come on, we got. That's the last of them. Friendly's inbound, sir. Looks like the 4th Armor Division. Pat, Pat. Someone get on the line and tell them they took the damn time. Yeah, and tell them that we did the art par for them. I didn't think we were going to make it out of there in one piece. I think we should be thanking old Sharp Shooter here for that. <laughs> get it? Because my name's Sharp? Uh, okay. Bad, bad joke. <laughs> 